they are seen as a nuisance all over the streets, chasing after vehicles for money to survive. Some of these children are here by choice. I've been to school. I was in Form 1 when I, for I forgot about school. Then, why did you forget about school? Me and my teacher get one grudge. That's why I mean, I forget about this school. Many others are on the streets as a result of circumstances through no fault of theirs. One of such children is Hakim. Hakim is a 13-year-old boy. I first met him on August 13, 2018 at about 10.15 p.m. at a traffic intersection at the 37 Military Hospital in Accra. Hakim identified me as a newscaster. I took this picture with him that day. On the 18th of October, 2018, I met Hakim's friends at the same spot I first met him and asked to see him. This is what I was told. Hakim, why? Oh, go China. Why they didn't call China? Bra, bra. I drove off in doubt whether to believe what I had been told or not. As the weeks went by and there was no sight of Hakim, the worry and anxiety grew. The inquiries and search for Hakim continued until January 25 when I met his friend who informed me that Hakim had returned from his trip to China. I requested a meeting with him to find out how he ended up in China. After waiting for some five minutes, Hakim came around. We want to find out exactly where he has been and if indeed he traveled to China. Hakim, I'm happy to see you. So I asked of you from your friends and they said you, you had traveled to China. I, is it really true? Yes, it's very true. Travel to China? Yes. How did you get there? Or who took you to China? The whole thing started when a man there who took us to school just at airport police basic school CMD. In the school when the headmistress said the stomach bank and a car, stomach height. They brought a letter to her that there's going to be a, an essay competition so that they are it's just taking one student out of one school in the whole Ghana. So they chose our school because it's near to the school. So we wrote the essay that I got to win. The essay was about what you'll be in future and how to achieve it. So what did you write? I wrote I wanted to be a pilot. To be a pilot? Yes. I wrote like things to achieve it. Like I have to learn about aeronautics and go to a nautical school and other things. So tell me about your experience in China. What happened then? My experience in China like landed at Guangzhou in China. In Guangzhou to have to, the destination was Beijing. So we took another local flight from Guangzhou to Beijing. So when we landed at Beijing and the Ghanaians there who came to take us to the hotel where we were staying. So every day we go out around the, like, tour. We just tour around the city. Hakim leads me to where they spend the night and the dangers they're exposed to. It's about midnight now. This is the airport city, dotted with high-rise buildings. These children sleep on cardboards by the roadside. Everyone who drives by wouldn't miss their presence in the early hours of the morning. Our independent checks confirm Hakim's story that he indeed won the ESSA contest and traveled to China as he narrated. We were welcomed by the headmistress of the school. It was an NGO who brought him here and uh, when he came, um, he was not having any place to sleep actually. But they brought him here for me to assist them. He came, he was doing well in school, but the problem is that they have nowhere to sleep. So from school, they go back to the streets. And last academic year, before vacation, uh, I got a message from Stambik Heights that they have um, this scholarship project that they are doing. They asked me to allow two of my students to write an essay on what they want to do in future. So he wrote, he brought it. When I read through it, I realized that this boy has a potential. But when I sent it to the Stambeck Heights, the following day they called and said that 
Hakim has won the competition, so he will be going to China. So, in fact, um, I was happy for him, but he was not happy because he had nothing to wear to China. This guy came back and he brought his report to me. But after that, that was the end. The boy will come today, tomorrow will come because he has nowhere to sleep. And even what to eat has become a problem. Just when we were getting ready to leave the school, Hakim arrived in the company of his friends. On a day he has no food to eat, he doesn't go to school. He spends his day cleaning the screens of vehicles, hoping to get some money to save for the next day. Until help comes, the dream of Hakim to be a pilot is fast fading out. Alfred Okanse, TV3 News.